Hello and thank you for joining me today. If you saw my other video, I stated there was a lot of new gun owners. In the month of March, the ATF stated that 3.7 million guns were sold. That lets me know that there are a lot of new gun owners out there. And the first step to being a responsible gun owner is making sure that you have a clean weapon. So today, we're going to work on cleaning our semi-automatic firearm. Let's get started. What we have here is the firearm, which we will be cleaning. I always suggest to put something down, especially if you don't want to mess up anything that, the, that you're cleaning on. As you can see, I've already set a few cleaning tools out. I have my cleaner as well as my lubricant. I have those facing backwards because I, I'm just not going to give free advertisement to who I use. But I think these are very good products. If you don't already, you should have some sort of cleaning kit. All right, comes with everything you need. Now for a handgun, and again, what I'll say is, this is my way of cleaning a weapon. I'm sure there are a lot of great ways. I'm sure there are a lot of different things you'll see online, but this is my way, and I'm just passing on a little bit of knowledge that I have. First and foremost, anytime that you're dealing with your firearm, the first thing you should always do is to check to see if it's loaded. If you're not sure how to do that, with this particular style weapon, you want to eject the magazine, which holds your ammunition. I'll turn this so you can see. This button here is your magazine release. You want to push that. The magazine will drop right out. As you can see, there is no ammunition in the magazine. Next, what you want to do is make sure that there's no ammunition in the chamber. So the way we do that, you just slide the slide back. As you can see, there is no ammunition inside of the weapon. All right. You can see straight through the magazine well. Now we're ready to go. Before we get started, I'm going to do a quick breakdown of the weapon so we know exactly what we're working with. Here I have my Springfield XD9. Very good weapon. Very reliable weapon and not overly expensive. Now what you have here, this top piece is called your slide. On your slide, you have your rear sight, your front sight. This is what you'll look through to aim your weapon and get on target. Your spent shell casings will be ejected from here. So every time you fire a round, the used shell casing will come out, another round will be loaded in. Here, is what you would call your lower receiver. On this firearm, it's made out of polymer, very hard, durable plastic. Now, to break down your firearm, this lever here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this lever here is called your takedown lever. It may look different on a few different models of firearm, but the functionality is still the same. And this holds your slide back. So you can pull the slide back, push this up, and it will keep it to the rear for you. You need to be able to do that with this particular firearm in order to release the takedown lever. Slide to the rear. Once the slide is to the rear, what you do next is you lift the takedown lever. Now, if you can see, that lever is no longer flat, it is facing straight up and down. The next step you wanna do is release the slide so it goes forward. This button here that kept the slide open is the same button that will release the slide for you. It's back forward with the release in the upright position. We've already made sure that there is no ammunition in the firearm so we can squeeze that trigger now. I don't know if you saw but the slide jumped forward so now we can just remove the slide. Inside of the lower receiver you have some metal pieces that get dirty once you fire your weapon. So you want to make sure that you keep those functions clean that way they always work for you. And again 
we have the slide. Rear front sight, once we take it off, you can see what is underneath the slide. Now what we're gonna do is remove the pieces from the inside of the slide. The first thing that we're gonna do is remove the rod by pushing back and then removing. As you can see on this model, the spring is made attached to the rod so you don't have to worry about losing the spring. In some firearms, the spring will just slide over and it can pop off, but you keep it so you can slide it right back on. Next, what we'll do is remove the barrel. This, you slide forward, just pull back, and now you have your barrel. This is where your round fires from, so you wanna make sure that it stays clean. Once you've removed those, now you just have the slide. Again, we have some metal components in here, and the one thing about your firearm is you want to make sure all of those metal components are running smooth, that they're not getting caught up on each other. That's part of the reason they can cause a jam. So you want to make sure that everything is clean and lubricated so it is running smooth. Now let's start cleaning. The first thing I'm going to do is take my cleaner and I'm just going to spray down into those metal pieces. Then you have your brush that you just want to kind of scrub those metal pieces. What the cleaner does is removes any of that gunpowder that gets kicked up on the inside of your weapon. You don't want to put too much because then it just makes it messy. As you can see on this end, there's a smaller brush to get into the small tight spaces just to make sure that you've gotten it all very good. Next, we're going to do the same thing to the slide. Now, the slide is all metal, so you can kind of make sure that you're getting a very good clean on it. Now, there are grooves here. You want to make sure that you clean down in those grooves very well, and I'll explain why shortly. Now for my preference, since I use two separate uh, cleaners, one for the for cleaning and one for lube. For the cleaner, personally, I don't like the buildup. So, I take a cloth and I just remove a lot of the buildup of the cleaner. Again, with your rag, as you can see, it has helped getting off a lot of the dirt and gunpowder buildup. that comes with firing your weapon. Now let's take a look. I do the same thing with the lower receiver. Just get a good clean piece so you can see exactly what it looks like once you start using that cleaner and getting everything nice and clean on the inside of your firearm. As you can see, there's a lot of buildup. And I keep my weapons fairly clean. I, I try to clean them often. Maybe not every time I go to the range, but at least every other time. Just to make sure that if it's ever needed, that it's clean and functioning properly. Once the lower receiver and the slide are clean, what you want to do is clean this barrel. A lot of the dirt and gunpowder will end up in your barrel and that will cause your round not to fire correctly. 
So again, I take my cleaner. I just spray down inside of the barrel. Now this rod will come with your uh, cleaning kit. The cloth comes with the cleaning kit as well. Some come in individuals. This one came in one long cloth that you cut what you need. Now you take this, put it in the barrel, and you just want to give it a good clean. Turn it, make sure you're getting everything that's in there out. Also take it this way. Again, as you can see, removes dirt and build up. I like to clean my barrel, the outside of the barrel. You don't need much. And then we clean. I make a point to clean the back end of it because this is where the round is fired and the round is passed through. So you get a lot of buildup on the back side of your barrel. And I don't know if you can see, but where that was black, now we have a nice clean shine to it. Now our gun is clean. However, we need to make sure we lubricate it because we do not want that metal on metal contact. You want some sort of lubricant. And what you're doing is lubricating those metal pieces. All of the metal joints, you want to make sure that you're putting some sort of lubricant on them. Okay. As you can see, the lubricant is nice and shiny. Those metal pieces have been covered with lubricant. We'll do the same with the slide. Again, nice and lubricated. And then with the barrel. Now that that is all done, we want to put it back together. So first, we're going to put the barrel inside of the slide. Push up, slide back. You want to take your rod. Uh, let me lubricate that. The rod is going to fit in. As you can see, it's long. You push the spring down and it falls right into place. Now that we have everything lubricated, these grooves, you want the slide to fit right over those grooves. And remember I said on the slide, you want to make sure that you lubricate it. That's because those grooves catch it and it slides on. Once it's on, pull it back, slide to the rear. And now that disable lever, you want to put it down. You want to hit that slide release lever. Gun goes forward. As you can see, nice and smooth. and your gun is clean. So if you're a new gun owner or you've had your weapon for a while, I hope this helps. Remember, if you're gonna own a firearm, you have to be responsible. And remember to let Catalyst lead the way. Let Catalyst